Rodrigo Cavaco. I, I get the easy part of the job. The difficult part is getting someone from the bottom and making them a high level black belt, right? And I did like maybe 1% of that. So I got to give Rodrigo Cavaco the, 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 the credit. But like, I'm just happy to continue what, what he started. Um, I This is the culmination of something that everyone who knows him has been saying for a long time. This kid's going to be the best in the world. He's destined to be the best in the world. We have to convince him of that, and I think today's result is the beginning of him truly believing in his potential. This kid is going to outdo Bushesha. I believe that. It's just a matter of, you know, more time, more confidence, more experience, and he's very young. He's got a long way to go. It's not the game. Well, injuries are the number one enemy of any jiu-jitsu yeah. player, right? But he's an animal. He's, we'll keep him. We'll keep him healthy. Yeah. So we uh, want to ask a question about preparation, also for you as a coach, as, uh, as a competitor. What uh, makes you confident? What makes you sure that uh, weeks before the tournament, month before the tournament, that you, when you will come on it, any world championship, European championship, uh, Pan Ams, any, uh, that you will win it? So when you understand and how you understand that you will win it and how you understand it, I will go and I will win. Now I a question for you and uh, for him. He has told that you'll translate it. So. Um, I, I think confidence is something that, that grows on you, you know, and winning is something you get better at. Winning is a skill, I always say that. Winning is not a result. Winning is a skill, <laughs> just like passing guards, sweeping and takedowns. You get better at winning. The more you do it, the better you get at it, you know? So it's a matter of growing the confidence and the belief in yourself. And that is as fundamental as Jiu-Jitsu in itself, because I don't care how good you are, if you don't believe in your heart that you're going to win, it, it, you're, all the training doesn't, doesn't mean anything. The training only means something if deep down in the back of your mind you truly believe in yourself, right? And there has to be that element in the equation. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. Thank you. And uh, can you translate it to him and... Uh, Ele perguntando, uh, quando tu sentiu que tu vai vencer? Como, como é que funciona isso na tua cabeça, o sentimento assim de, de repente, de insegurança para segurança da vitória? Uh, I think uh, when finished last fight. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't think about it before? Uh, Você não pensava que tu ia ganhar antes? Yeah, but uh, Kine is very hard, uh, very hard fighter. Yeah, and had a game. Uh, to be honest, uh, even uh, I didn't believe that you win him. I till the end, till the end, it was like I felt all the grips. All the grips were so good. He felt gri yeah. these grips very good. But then it was like explosion and it's clo triangle close and everyone, everyone. I was sitting. And, uh, I stepped up to feel to watch it better, and everyone was, oh shit, he did it. <laughs> so, awesome, really awesome. So you don't think about it, yeah? So, you can translate. You can tell it in the Portuguese, and you can translate. Você não, é, pergunta mal formulada por parte dele. Mas assim, você não pensa que você você acreditava na vitória antes? Na vitória, os tipos de dúvidas ainda. You can tell it in Portuguese, and you can translate. Sim, eu acreditava na vitória, só que eu estava meio, meio receioso com, com o jogo dele, o, pelo fato de ser um jogo de lapela, ficar me segurando, mas acho que... He was confident in the victory, but he was a little, uh, you know, cautious of the lapel game Keenan has. It's a very strong game. It's a complicated game to beat, right? So Keenan's a very intelligent competitor. He's a very very tactical competitor. Like he doesn't make a lot of mistakes and I think that was his biggest concern walking in the fight. It's a game that it's very difficult to prepare to uh, prepare for because it's not something that everyone does at the gym. Right? But he won the beginning of the uh, fight. He won it. He got uh, guard pull and he made uh, Keenan to play in his game. Yes, I, that's a bigger part of the equation. A lot of people realize like the first few seconds of the fight and who starts top and bottom depending on styles determines the outcome of the fight a lot of times. So yeah, that worked in our favor. <laughs>
Hello, BJJ Freaks. Thank you. Hello, I'm Robert Drysdale. Hello, BJJ Freaks. Now we are with uh, current European champion, uh, Fionn Davis, and we want uh, to ask you one question. Fionn, when you train uh, weeks before, long before the tournament, how do you understand that, okay, I will go to this tournament and I will win it. No one can stop me. Um, I don't really feel that way, if I'm honest. I have so many doubts in the lead up and I, I know I can, it's just, but you don't know on the day because everyone probably thinks that they can win, you know, it's not like I can just believe it to fruition, so I, uh, I just know I have the ability and then on the day I just need to have a clear mind and do my best jiu-jitsu. Things happen, they don't always go your way, um, and it's not like, I'm going to win, it's like, I can win, and I'm going to do everything in my power to win, so it's, it's less like... Yes, they also saw that you, it seemed like you cried when you made the submission, why, why, what, what, what made you feel like that, it was like, uh, uh, you thought, okay, uh, maybe I made it, uh, injuries for someone, or you just were so happy to win, uh, I don't Good. remember, sorry. I don't <laughs> you can um, try on him. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I can't remember. Sorry. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Darren is trainer, coach of Phil uh, Davis, who became a uh, European champion today. And uh, we want to ask some questions here if you don't mind. Of course, man. Okay, Darren, uh, we need to ask you, like, as a competitor, uh, as a competitor and as a coach, uh, how do you feel when uh, on the training camp a month or weeks before the tournament when you are preparing for the competition uh, and suddenly you understand that I will win this competition, I will do it, I will, no, no one can stop me. And another question, how you feel the same but about your students, that he, they can win. So, Hello BJ Day Freaks. <laughs> Um, I guess during the camp is often really difficult. Sometimes it's hard to actually believe in yourself because the training is so hard and everything is so rigorous and you're putting yourself through uh, through so much. Well, you have to believe that this is your passion, you know, and this is just is everything that you want in your life and everything you work for. So I think sometimes it's harder to believe during the training than it is to believe on the day of the competition because on the day of the competition, all the work has paid off and everything has been done and you're excited to fight, you can't wait to fight. It's actually easier to fight with people you don't know than with your training partners that you train with every single day. And man, to see my students succeed like how Fionn did today, man, n nothing makes me happier. It, it uh, brings tears to my eyes, you know, it makes me so happy. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, no, 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 don't tell it's not. <laughs> Intermediate. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, hello, we're here. Say? We're here and with uh, Tommy Langaka. He just uh, came. He's actual uh, European champion. So congratulations to you, Tommy. Thank you. And, thank you. Uh, we want uh, to ask you some questions. Yes. So. Uh, when you are preparing to the tournament, when you are in your gym uh, weeks before the tournament and you are preparing for that, how do you feel uh, when you are ready? Okay, that's it. Now I can win it. Like uh, for me, like it's been a it's been a process. So I f I kind of figured out that there is no perfect day. There's you can never have the perfect day. Like. Because sometimes you're gonna feel great, sometimes you're gonna feel bad. The only thing that is gonna make the difference is the, the amounts of hours you put on the mat and being smart about it. So I, I am very confident in my work. I go uh, twice a day, every day, Monday through Friday, and I've done it for years and years. And uh, I just trust the process of it. And uh, yeah, I think that's that's the only thing like that that's gonna change anything. Like because. Uh, Today I woke up and I didn't feel really motivated to, to be fighting, but I kept telling myself like if I'm going to have, like on my worst day, I'm going to be beating the people that has the best day. Because I am that confident in my jujitsu and like I'm that confident in my team and the preparations I do. And like it's it's about continu uh, like continu uh, continuity, uh, like constantly working, you know. 
like always being on the grind, like never like listening to your body, like but still like don't don't fool yourself. Like you ha even if you have bad days, you're still gonna train, but train a little bit smart about it. So no surprise, just train tw twice a day, every yes. day. That's what I do. And rest. Uh, your, your, rest. Your worst day will be uh, better than best day of any other. Yes, exactly. That's what I feel and that's what I believe. Like I had some mental work today before uh, before my first fight, and like I was telling myself, like because I was tired, I was trying to find excuses, but like I kept working and like I kept like when I went on the mat, like I felt I felt good and like I was just being smart didn't want to get stressed out and get too emotional when I was there because the work is not done until it's over. So uh, I just kept kept trusting my jujitsu and I got to positions where I felt good and I got the uh, got the points that was needed and in my in my final fights I was able to get the submissions because I wanted to rest uh, my two first fights like take it a little bit easier and then uh, then put up the put up the pace in my final fights. So I could get, uh, so I knew like I had extra energy to go and get the submission, because getting that extra like in the top level, getting the submissions of these tough guys is really hard because it's it's finesse, it's only finesse and like timing, everything like small small details. But you focus on it and you just destroy. It. Yes, Absolutely. just focus on it and uh, like I said, trust you. Destroy all defense and to step by step. Yes, yeah. yes. Put one wall down and another wall, and then you reach. Reach the goal at the end. Yeah. Now, Thank good you, season. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations again, my friend. Hey, BJJ Freaks, how are you? <laughs> oh, but, uh, how, uh, how do you feel? Uh, we want to ask you a question. How do you feel, uh, how do you understand when you are ready to the competition, when you are preparing and you understand, okay, I'm ready, I can uh, win this yeah. tournament? How, how is it? For me, it's listening to music and being happy. So uh, instead of like wanting to fight angry and like focus like that, I like to think that I'm I'm singing and dancing and I like to feel the energy like around me. And the week before, some uh, when you are preparing, just now you feel that it's okay. Now I'm ready to win. It. Yeah, I think it all depends on the day of. Like I can have a bad camp or a good camp, but if I don't feel good that day, then it doesn't matter. I have to feel good the day of. So you have to have my ready. friends, I have my family. The energy I have around me is really important for my tournaments. Yeah. yeah.